You have reached Almost Homestead. All services are offline. Please hold for the next available representative. She's turning into a blizzard. Jen, she did not make it up here. This is Sunday. We decided it was just too, too dangerous, especially with Sunday. It's just gonna clobber with snow tonight and freeze and she would be stuck here and she had to get back to work. With more snow on the way, I decided to put together this snow removal tool and that way I can get rid of this first layer of heavy wet snow on the roof. I've been shoveling and as I showed I did the roof the best I could. Shoveled the path down here and down to the chickens and uh, that might have been in vain because it's just going to keep piling up. Hey welcome back to the channel. It's uh, winter wonderland up here. We got about 11 inches of snow. Um, it snowed all night last night and the power went out at about seven o'clock last night. And uh, it was a tense night, man. There was branches breaking, trees falling. At about 5.40 this morning, I thought a tree landed on the cabin and took out the chimney. So I ran outside with the flashlight I can't find anything anywhere. So I don't get it, man. It's really weird. It, I mean, it was something nailed the cabin. So I'm going to walk around the area here out on the road and check the, out the rentals that I take care of, make sure they're okay, and maybe I'll see a downed tree. So let's go check that out. I've got the chickens run here covered pretty well. I took off a lower panel over there just so they can get a little more light and look out. But uh, with these freezing temps we're getting and wind and blowing snow I wanted to make sure they could stay dry in there and stay out of the wind hi girls all right so I just noticed this one across my neighbor's driveway it's kind of uh, hairy to be out here right now because there's still branches breaking all over the place. When I was down there looking at the river, I could hear branches breaking and the uh, railroad, they've got somebody down there clearing the tracks because a big tree fell down there. So that little place is okay. That's another one that we clean. All right, this cabin looks okay so far. The trees are pulled down, but that's to be expected. Got some branches down. All right, everything looks good here. Good deal. Okay, now a uh, quick check down this way. Our friends Steve and Ann to check out their cabin and there's another guy, Phil, that lives down here. Holy moly. That's crazy, can't even get through here. Let's try through here. Phil? Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. <laughs> All right, Steve and Ann. 
little blockage in the driveway, but so far so good. This stuff is really wet. Looks good. All right, and our other friends live here full time. Looks like they're all good too. Another little block in the road here, but crazy. It is Tuesday, January 14th. I'm gonna go let the chickens out and uh, we're getting hammered with snow. I gotta show you this. I cleared this off yesterday, that roof, and that's probably a good foot on there again. So I'm thinking we're getting close to the two foot mark. Let's go let the chickens out. So last night was another spooky night with, uh, you know, once it got dark, I heard branches snapping and then I heard a big tree come down or what sounded like a big tree but um, I think it might have been across the road because I did see flashlights up there like they were looking around um, I had mentioned that yesterday it felt like a tree landed on the cabin and last night I figured out what that was the uh, I don't know if you can see it here but the tension wire right there the other end of it is over here, that thing snapped when that uh, big, huge branch fell. It's weird because it didn't pull the wires out, but it snapped that wire, tension wire that uh, kind of secures it all there. So that's what that sound was. That thing, when that broke, man, it felt like the, something hit right there and it was a loud and forceful snap to the cabin. So I heard a big old branch crash down at the greenhouse up here, but looks like, yay, the greenhouse is good. That little trailer over there, not so good. All right, looks like there's the culprit that I saw up here, so we're all good. It's actually clearing up, but that means it's gonna get really cold tonight, freeze up. And then it's supposed to snow again tomorrow, is what I heard. Ooh, tunnel. Sweet. All right, so earlier I dug out the trailer and moved it. It was back here, and you can see it's like right in line with that one tree. I might have already talked about it on video, but it should fall maybe like right about here, so. I'm hoping the trailer's good. There's been a bunch of these snapping and breaking back there. But, yeah, crazy. Alright. I'm going to go back in. Alright, it is Wednesday morning and it snowed a little more last night. So, not sure what the total is now, but well over two feet for sure. Probably two and a half maybe get close to three who knows but chickens are doing good cabin hasn't had any trees land on it thank goodness the outdoor kitchen came real close to getting hit but all is good No chicken can resist these scratch and peck grubs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Okay, girls. Here you go. So that's how much snow fell last night. I don't know, that's a good six to eight inches maybe, I don't know. All right, the wind's kicking up. Uh, I've got to run that way to my neighbors. Uh, off that way and run the gauntlet. Oh God. I need to charge this phone. I need to see if I can get a ride into town. I've got a tooth that's killing me for the last three days and uh, I got to get to the dentist. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can get a ride out with my neighbor in the morning at like 5.30 in the morning if she's going to work tomorrow. And then Jen can come meet me in Monroe, pick me up and we'll sit at a diner or something until my dentist appointment, but I'm gonna make a break for it. All right, it's 3.45 on Wednesday. Uh, my neighbor let me charge my phone at his house down there. So I uh, just went down and got my phone. The wind is starting to kick up again, and uh, it started snowing again. <laughs> it just won't stop. I'll show you up here. The trees are blowing around a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't blow a lot or else we'll get more trees coming down. And PUD is up here right now. They just came up. These are their bulldozer tracks. They came through with a bulldozer and went through the whole road, and now they're down a ways chopping trees, cutting trees, and uh, repairing power. So hopefully I'll have power here in a while. Oh man, I don't want to stand here under that stuff. Look at that. Oh boy. Hey. So I got to run down and call Jen down here at one of the rentals that we clean because that's where I can get service and uh, let her know that my neighbor's gonna take me to the dentist tomorrow. We'll figure it out in the morning. All right, it's Thursday morning about nine o'clock and uh, my neighbor's giving me a ride to uh, one of the towns down from us and then Jen's gonna come and pick me up so I can get to the dentist because, man, it's been agonizing a couple days. Uh, and I don't like taking Abdel constantly, and that's what I've been doing. So we just came down the hill. He's dropping off a care package to a lady here, and then we're heading out of here. So that's Thursday morning's check-in. All right, it is Friday. Friday, and uh, the devil tooth has been extracted from my head. I'm so happy. I was in so much pain there <clears throat> yesterday, and... I was so happy to get that tooth pulled. I was ready to hug everybody in there. In fact, I hugged one lady and threw hugs at the other ones. And uh, man, it's just, whew, I can chew again and I'm not in pain, so hallelujah. Uh, sun's out today, so we'll get a little snow melt. Still quite a bit of snow out here, but uh, Jen took today off too, so now she's here. So we are able to drive back in, chain up and get back to the cabin. And it's so nice to have her back here with me now because it was getting lonely especially with no other entertainment with the power out uh, and the power they got the main lines hooked up last night so power is on for anybody that didn't have their power cut off at their house there's our wires that are cut off so today we got to get a hold of the uh, Snohomish PUD see when they can get out here but like I said we got plenty of food or maybe I didn't say that, but we do have plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of wood, uh, plenty of love to go around to keep us going. So we're just, uh, I just made some breakfast in the outdoor kitchen. We got some eggs, got the bacon inside, so we're gonna go eat some breakfast. But uh, yeah, Friday, 
glorious day. I'm so happy. And last night, this whole section slid off the roof, which made quite a racket, but that's pretty cool too. All right, that's all for now. Get to the chopper! <laughs> All right, it's still Friday. Mm -hmm. Jen is still here, thank goodness. And Nice uh, to have a day and then some off. Yeah. I went into work yesterday for a little while and then came up here and took him to the dentist. Um, we had our little off-grid experiment from Sunday at 7.10 till today, Friday at what, like one two, something. Yeah, one, one or two. Yeah, two something, I think. All right. So it is very nice to have power. I mean, we could have gone further without it, obviously. People do. And it wasn't too bad. Um, but it is nice to have. And pretty soon we'll have running water again. <laughs> yes. And hopefully the internet again. Yeah. Not sure where you're gonna, when you're going to see this video because... Who knows how long it'll take for them to fix the internet. Yeah. The lines up here. The lines down all over and shredded in places. And so anyway... That was our little off-grid experiment, and uh, it was good times. Yeah. All kind of, I mean, yeah. And it's, it's been good. It has, and it was a good test to see when all that stuff happens and you have a medical-type emergency. Yikes. That's a good test to kind of an eye-opener that, you know, I've always had the romantic notion to live out in the middle of nowhere, but being close to services does have its merits. Did you tell him you were gonna you were getting ready to walk the highway? Yeah, I would have walked the what twenty well, miles to <laughs> to get to that dentist. I was going to that dentist, man. I couldn't take it anymore. Well, luckily but, you were able to get out of here, and I didn't have to drive in to get you, and yeah. that was a huge plus. Yes, a big huge thanks to my friend Mark down the road who gave me a ride out of here. The guy is awesome. He's <laughs> One of our best friends up here. He's always there to help us out. Him and his uh, his Erica. So thanks to you guys. If you ever see this, I don't know if they'll see it. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're gonna go back in. I'm gonna go lay down. Nap. <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye bye.